Storm Tracker weather starts now with Jason Laird. Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us here bright and early. Hopefully you made the most out of the weekend. It was a hot one and another hot week on tap. 47 degrees right now in Great Falls, looking at 55 in the capital. Mid 50s already in northeastern Montana. Really the big talking point again. It's not going to be a super um, eventful forecast this week. I'm just going to forewarn you, really. Uh, it's going to kind of sound like a broken record. This guy right here is going to be the main talking point. Huge high pressure ridge is just going to camp out pretty much all week long. It'll lose a little bit of strength tomorrow, but it's just going to rebound as the week plays out. So 90 degrees on tap today in Great Falls, 91 in the capital, well into the 80s in northeastern Montana. Those overnight lows are really going to stay on the mild side as well. 60 degrees for your overnight low in Great Falls tonight, 60 in the capital. Looking at the high 50s in northeastern Montana tomorrow again, uh, even though that ridge is kind of moving down a little bit, it's really not doing much for temperatures. We're still going to stay very clear, very hot. 94 tomorrow in Great Falls, 91 in the capital, pushing the triple digits throughout the eastern plains. And tomorrow again, I was mentioning that ridge is going to shift a little tiny bit further south that will open up the door for a little bit of moisture to try to make its way into the state. Most of these showers and thunderstorms, uh, well, I should say more or less just thunderstorms are going to be on the dry side, which again is going to contribute to that fire danger. We're going to see a lot of dry lightning over the mountains and that potentially with the vegetation starting to dry out and low humidity levels could kick something off there. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But again, that's going to kind of move through the region there and then kind of a carbon copy again on Wednesday as that high pressure ridge kind of shifts off a little bit. That's going to leave us slightly cooler on Wednesday, like two degrees, 92 in Great Falls, 89 in the capital. Really southwestern Montana is going to stay a little bit cooler once that ridge kind of shifts off a little bit well into the 90s again along the high line northeastern Montana. But as we look through the extended again, Wednesday still a little bit of remaining uh, moisture over the state, couple showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon on Wednesday. But then by Thursday, Friday, that ridge is really going to reamplify across the board and that is going to keep us very, very hot and dry as we head into the weekend. Now, the one thing to keep in mind on Wednesday as that ridge kind of starts to rebuild a little bit could throw some wind in the mix, which is really going to ramp up that potential fire danger across the state. OK, next couple of days, a lot of 90s to talk about here. So Tuesday, Wednesday afternoon showers, thunderstorms not out of the question. Very spotty, very isolated, well into the 90s all week long. Capital. 90s again, looking at a couple showers, thunderstorms possible through Wednesday in the late afternoon and evening, and then well into the 80s and 90s all week long as well. Lewistown looking hot, 87 today, high 80s by Tuesday there, and we're going to stay well into the 80s all week and also once we head into the weekend there as well. As for Glasgow, going to be a little bit hotter at times in this region. 87 today, well into the low 90s for daytime highs. Could see a couple of those showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday. Very minimal chances though, and a hot week to follow, Shannon.